Christmas and Merry Christmas. So this video is gonna come out a couple of days after Christmas, but we really hope that you enjoy this special day uh, wherever you are in the world. And not only is it Christmas day, but it's also our last day in Budapest, which is pretty sad. Yeah. Um, we're going to Bulgaria tonight because that's where we're spending our New Year's Eve. Yeah. So we wanna get there early and it's slightly a bit cheaper to stay there during that period. Yeah. So because it's Christmas and it's our last day, mm -hmm. we really wanted to do something very special today, mm -hmm. which we'll get to later. Mm -hmm. um, but we've just left our apartment. Yeah. Um, really, really nice to wake up there, isn't it? How yeah. has our apartment been? Very, very cozy. Um, I wouldn't wish for anything else on a Christmas morning because you no. feel like you're at home actually, right? Yeah, it's really stylish. It's got everything we need there. Yeah, awesome. um, we watched a couple of films last yeah, night, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, guys, if you're thinking of staying somewhere, maybe for New Year, uh, make sure to check out our description box. We're going to leave you a link mm. to Airbnb so you can get a discount for your first booking. So it's pretty chilly today, guys. Mm -hmm. I think it's way colder than yesterday. Um, so I think that leads us on to our next activity, which will make sense in about 30 seconds. Christina's just got her gingerbread latte. That's so cute. Nice Yay. and festive. My favorite, Costa. <laughs> just right here. Because if it's that cold, you're like, yeah. let's just get a little latte. Yeah. To Plus it's gonna take us about 20 minutes to walk to our final destination. So yeah, this will keep us warm. So after 30 minutes of walking, we finally arrived to a very exciting location that is Sicieni Thermal Baths. As you can see, the building is behind me. It was built in 1913 and it's the largest thermal bath spa complex in entire Europe. So we're just about to go inside. We actually bought our tickets online, so I don't think that we're gonna have to queue. Uh, we'll leave the prices down below for you guys so you can check it out. Uh, but yeah, we're super excited. Um, there's actually indoor and outdoor pools. Uh, I think we're gonna be staying outdoors most of the time. And and the water should be about 26 Celsius degrees, so it's gonna be nice and toasty. I think we should leave the cold nomination like head in. inside of Sicieni Thermal Bath. When we arrived, the lady told us that we have to wait for an hour because the bath is full, it's too busy, but we found another entrance and we snuck in. She gave us obviously our wristbands, so we just handed them one through and I think soon enough we can just change into our bikinis and enjoy the bath. Absolutely beautiful. There's a pool at the back there. There's one here where I think swimmers are taking it seriously like an Olympic size one. If I swing around to my right, there's also another pool here, which is more for chilling. Let me just try and zoom in. I think most of the people are over here. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow, look at that detail. Justina, we can buy some alcohol from here, look. There's like a little bar there. And the pool is just here. So many people in there. It looks really, really cozy. Justina, yeah. did you know that they do like um, clubbing nights here? Really? Yeah, oh, they call no. them uh, Sparties. Right, I wonder how much that is. Yeah, I think that's one on uh, New Year here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah. But I think I saw Vaga Brothers come here and it said that it was like a sausage fest. It was oh, mostly guys really? here. The water is a cool 28 degrees. I think that's why everyone is chilling here. Because on a day like today, that is exactly where you want to be. Me and Justina cannot wait to get in there. This is fast forward mode. This is literally people caught in a current. <laughs> oh my god. It looks so fun, doesn't it? It's like that game that you play with a little magnet where you try to 
because the duckies. Oh yeah. What's what you call that game? I know what you mean. Yeah. experience at the thermal buffs we came down to have our Christmas dinner here in one of the restaurants in central Budapest. This restaurant offers a special Christmas menu so we just demolished our Hungarian mushroom soup and now we're waiting for our mains. Uh, I think we ordered some roasted duck and some chicken so like two main dishes. Of course we're gonna share as we always do. I'm yeah. surprised how busy everything is. Yeah. Like nothing's yeah. on lockdown. No. There's so many restaurants to choose from. Exactly. Really surprised by that. Yeah. Yeah, I so think yeah. actually yesterday was more on a lockdown than today. I think so, yeah. In Lithuania, is it true that you celebrate Christmas Eve more than you do Christmas Day? Not really. Or both equally? Yeah, both equally I would say. What do you do on Christmas Eve? I think everyone at home would find that intriguing. Well, you usually have Christmas Eve dinner with your family, with your closest family. And then on Christmas Day, um, you may move around and see your relatives, like your cousins and stuff like that. But for Christmas Eve, you would normally just have your own family's dinner. Really? Yeah, like mom, dad, son, daughter, pets, wow. <laughs> if you have any. Wow. Yeah. And you're supposed to have 12 dishes on Christmas Eve. So there has to be 12 different things for you to choose from. Really? Um, it's like a like a rule, I don't know. So do you know the significance of having 12? I can't different... remember actually, no. 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 Justine is shining a light here <laughs> because it's really dark in this restaurant. Yes. But look what has been served to me right here, right now. This is duck with potatoes and some veg on top. It looks absolutely delicious. I think it's done Hungarian style, but I don't know what makes it Hungarian. I think that paprika sauce here. Maybe, yes, yes. That orange one, look. You're probably right. Yeah. And then <laughs> Justine, shine a light on that beast. Look at this. <laughs> this is the Wiener Schnitzel that we ordered. I literally wanted this all day. Look, yeah. Oh, delicious. and it comes with like a uh, potato salad. Right, okay, yeah. Lovely. And some French fries. Look at those I French fries. I can't see behind the schnitzel. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Lovely. That looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. wow. It's such a slab. Sorry that we cut dinner short. The lighting was just really bad in there. We just wanted to enjoy, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the dinner was really good. No, it was a great. single regret that we went to that place. Seriously, so good. So good. And yeah. then after that, we had two cheeky pints in a pub. And now we find ourselves waiting at a bus stop to go to Bulgaria tonight. So it's currently 11.45 p.m. Mm -hmm. So today has been crazy. I'm really tired, but... I would say that's more relaxation because I've had such a great time today eating, enjoying the yeah. uh, thermal bath, everything. It's been a fantastic day, but um, I think we're going to end it here because this area is pretty dodgy, isn't it? Yeah, it's not even a bus station where we have to wait for a bus. It's like a um, coffee shop it's that's like closed. It's like a coffee shop, yeah. Yeah, there's like a door here with like a broken window. Can you see? <laughs> I don't know if you can see. But, but anyway, we see some people with their suitcases. And I think yeah. the only reason why it's not a bus station is because the bus is coming like from Berlin. It's yeah. not coming from here, basically. Exactly. So it's just stopping on the way to Bulgaria. So. Yeah. Through, um, where was it? Serbia. Serbia, arriving at Sofia tomorrow at 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. So 
we cannot wait to sleep. We're just gonna chill out, enjoy. Uh, but thanks so much for watching, guys. Yeah. We really hope you had an amazing Christmas. Um, if you did, or actually just write whatever you got up to on the day. Exactly. We'd love to know what you got up to. Yeah. And um, I suppose we'll see you on our next vlog where we will be in Sofia. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. And anything else to say? No, just make sure to come back, guys. Make sure you su stay subscribed, like yeah. this video, share with your friends. And as always, cheers, cheers to freedom. freedom. Woo!